I like to welcome uh, Joseph Lam, the director of Confucius Institute, to address uh, a closing remark. I know everyone is tired and want to go and have uh, dinner, uh, but I would say a few words. And I must say, this has been a most uh, impressive day, and I, I didn't expect to be this, but I'm actually quite shocked. Uh, first, I must say, and I must say that from my position, I'm trained as a musicologist, and then trained to be a sinologist, and then I've been doing the directorship of the Confucius Institute, and in that role, I have become to become. A, what I would like to call myself a cultural intellectual. So I care about cultures, and what people say and what people do very much, especially in terms of cultural context between China and, Japan, um, and America in the global context. So let me just say very, I, I've written some notes, but I'll just skip it, and, but I say what to the core that I really find very impressive and very shocking because there's one thing that really sends shock to my spine this evening, this afternoon. First, uh, I think that the presentations are absolutely wonderful to begin from what I hear is beautiful, basically more academic, professional from museums, how to do museum things in the 21st, 21st century in globalized world, and then to move on to uh, collect things and how to present, uh, buy pictures of what is good, so it is very beautiful. And then in the afternoon, we move to more performance arts, uh, feminism, and those really brings out the issue of uh, the power of arts in whatever terms, F ranging from the simple visual arts, material arts, to screen, to Marcus calligraphy, which is creative and inside. It's really wonderful for me to hear his big projects coming to maturation. But let me get to the point that I really feel that is the message behind all the wonderful talks we have is here, is art is powerful. Art is social, meaningful, and creative. So we have to take it very carefully. It, good arts can be very constructive, but it can be very destructive. So when we interpret these arts, we have to be very careful, and you have to be balanced. That, there's a difference with me when you say, if you are f acting in a scholar's point, you have to be more balanced, more verifiable in what you say. But if you're an artist, you can say anything you want in the artistic mode. That I think is the artist's license. So I'm trying to be confrontational by using this and to Robert's comment. Uh, Maybe it's a care show, but it really shocked me very much, is to link the Holocaust with the sending the students in the 60s, 70s to the, the villages. I grew up in Hong Kong. I have relatives and friends who went down there. I felt very sorry for them and because I knew what they happened, what happened to them, how they suffered, and how many of them fled China to come to Hong Kong some of them died, but I would never compare that to something similar to the Holocaust because I have also many, many good friends, Jewish friends, and last summer I was in Israel and visited the Holocaust Museum. I was deeply touched by the museum and by how art can express that kind of humanity expression, what art can help us remember or cover up or whatever to, to heal from that experience. So I really think as artists, as film speakers or movie makers, you can do whatever you want, say whatever you want, that's fine. But at one point, I really think we have to be very careful with words that, or images that are so loaded with meanings. I think we should be very careful with words like Holocaust, Cultural Revolution. and. I just think that is the purpose of a conference like this. We really take our arts seriously. 
And that's what takes it to the next level. That's all I want to say.